Hey guys, Coopal67 again here, and today I'm going to be reviewing the Funko Pop Star Wars General Grievous Walgreens exclusive. Which I had a pretty hard time finding this pop. It took me like three weeks, I, I think like two or three weeks to find it. I don't know, I was searching a lot of Walgreens, but I finally found it. And when I did, they had like a bunch of them at Walgreens. So yeah. First on the front of the back packaging, you can see General Grievous. And then it shows him on the side of the packaging. Inside the box, you can see him in all of his glory. This sticker, Walgreens exclusive, Funko Pop, or just Pop, and Star Wars number 129 on the side of the box, you can see Funko Pop, another picture of Grievous, and that says General Grievous. On the back of the pack packaging, you can see Star Wars, General Grievous, and Qui-Gon Jinn, Qui -Gon Jinn. Which is a really rare pop of her, I haven't been able to find him, and even if I did, I probably wouldn't buy it because I don't really care about it. And then on the bottom of the box, you can see all this stuff. If you want to read that, you can pause it now. And on the top of the box, you can see General Grievous' head. Or the top of his head, and it says Pop. Just like any other Pop. But yeah, but that was pretty much a quick look at the packaging. Now I'm going to open this guy up and show you the Pop within the plastic tomb. Yeah, guys, but here he is out of the packaging. It's strange, like, lately, like, I've been thinking of all these cool pops that Funko could make, and lately they've been making them, like, right after I said it, like, literally a couple months ago, I was saying to one of my friends about how awesome it would be if they made a pop of General Grievous, because he's one of my favorite villains, and I was wondering why they didn't have a pop of him, and then they made him, and then I was talking to my friend a couple months ago about it, it would be cool if they make Resident Evil pops, and now they're making Resident Evil pops, and then I was talking about how it'd be cool if they made Cat Dog, and... Now they released images of a cat dog pop and Rocco was Modern Life and a bunch of old Nicktoons pops. So yeah, I need to start talking about pops more often because it seems like when I do they start making them. Alright, I want uh I want a mask pop. I want a pop of spawn. There you go, Funko. Make those next. But yeah. But anyway, back to this pop. As you can see, it comes on the stand like all Star Wars pops do, and it's a Star Wars on the front. Then you can see it's body he's holding the two lightsabers one's blue and one's green they're parts of his collection then you can see his chest I'm trying to focus the camera holding this it's kind of an awkward pop to hold but the, yeah and then his chest you can see nice detail and on his feet he has the four buggy toes nice detail on his hands and everything and then you can see he has a gray cape on the back and then i believe it's red on the inside yeah it's red on the inside and his face is really nicely detailed. For some reason, I can't remember him having these scratches in the movie. Maybe it's just because they did them way worse on the pop because they're making it more adorable looking. So, I don't know. Maybe just... I'll have to watch the movie again sometimes. So I don't really remember him having scratches right there. But, yeah. And then he has these ear things. I'm not sure what exactly what we'd call them. I just call them ear things. Then he has the voice box or the vents on his mouth for how he talks. And you can see Popeyes and all the... Detail of organic flesh underneath the helmet. Well, I guess it's not that great a detail, but yeah. Then, of course, he comes off the stand like the rest of them, but the stand has a peg for his cape. You can see it pegs in just like that. And the cape pegs in, too. In the back, you can see the back of his head. It's got all the rivet E detail on his head. Or I think it's called rivets, I don't know. Where it's like that. You can see it from the side and everything really nice pop this was like a really a pop i really wanted funko to make and then they finally made them and i was super excited when they did i had to hunt them down which like i said it took me a minute to hunt them down but yeah but yes i do hope they make more than just this general grievous like i really hope they make variants like i hope they make a bigger one like maybe a six inch tall pop or something with forearms or just a normal size pop with forearms would work too but yeah that'd be cool then i hope they make like one where his eyes are burning with fire coming out of them and he has his chest on fire from when he's getting shot or whatever. So yeah. But yeah, like I said, this is a very nice pop. It has a very nice paint job. I tried to pick out ones that had the better paint job. Which I got two of these because I hooked one of my friends up with one that was also searching for it because they had a bunch of them. So I picked him up one and I picked me up one. Because I had a buy one pop going free thing going on at the time. So I basically passed on a Venom and got another Grievous for him instead. But yeah, that's basically my review for this pop. 
Like I said, there's not really anything much to talk about with Pops. They're just little statues with adorable little black eyes. Well, some of them have different colored eyes, but not too many of them. They usually just have the black eyeballs. But yeah, that was just a quick review. And of course, this is a bobblehead, just like this Darth Vader one that I previously reviewed, because pretty much all Star Wars Pops are bobbleheads. But that was basically my review on this guy, and I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, like, comment, and subscribe, and stay tuned for more videos by Kid Pool 67 I'll talk to you guys later. Goodbye.